Welcome to the Russia Pavilion. My name is Ekaterina Pribetkova and I am the Director of International Communications here. So, the Russia Pavilion is located in the Mobility District. Uh, our theme is Creative Mind Driving the Future and we are actually discovering the creative industries here. Um, the architecture, I believe, requires special attention. It's by Sergei Chobon, one of the greatest Russian architects of our current time. And, of course, you cannot notice that it looks like a planet that was the main idea and this is the point of attraction for the guests. And of course the great, the great highlight is the color scheme and the endless lines that surround the pavilion that symbolize unity of the nationalities living here. They symbolize the thrive for knowledge and Russia moving forward on and on. So. It, it, it looks like uh, tubes going around. As I mentioned, there are endless lines. Yeah. All right. And when people go in there, um, there there's all kinds of sections that people can enjoy. Sure. Uh, shall I go inside? Yeah. Let's okay. start working. Yeah. Uh, so once you enter the pavilion, you will see the whole of temporary expositions. Uh, currently, we have Moscow being hosted there, but every month we bring in different regions to show Russia from the different angles. Uh, we also kind of have the Russian Post, a unique place at Expo where everyone can send a postcard home for free as a memory of visiting Expo 2020 and Russia Pavilion specifically. You can see the family cafe Pixies named after the pavilion mascots, the cartoon characters Pixies who teach children about how the technology works. And from time to time you can see uh, different temporary exhibits and different stands to kind of change it up and continue sh showing something new for our visitors. However, when you go upstairs, that's when you are going to see the main exposition that is called Mechanics of Wonder. The exposition teaches us about the biggest wonder in the world, the human brain. It talks about the five aspects of human mind and how only with cooperation between all of us and when finding the unity between each other despite our difference is the only way for us to move forward. That's it. Uh, all right, so it's, it's very important to have a technology uh, to, to capture thoughts uh, in digital ways and maybe that's a little bit what's happening here. Um, Your science uh, is uh, it's all the way to the top, right? Where this will be. Yeah. As I mentioned. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'll, I'll cut this. We see, we see the stars. So, shall I continue talking? Wow, yeah. yeah. Once you enter the pavilion, you can see uh, the, techn the many technological stands and items. You see, of course, the centerpiece, which is the human brain that opens, showing symbolically how the neurons work and how they create ideas that move our world forward. Science, everything has been made by Russian uh, designers, yes. architects, so, working together. Yes, this is the Russian, Russian teams working on it. Part of the stands are made from, by Sympatech Entertainment Group, who created the exposition for us. And part of the stands were created by our partners from technological field. We have Rostec, we have Rosatom, the state company for the nuclear technologists, who have provided a wonderful show with the robo hands talking about the innovations in human history, as well as some educational ones by Sympatech Entertainment Group talking about the degrees of separation and the perspectives on the world from the viewpoint of different creatures, different animals. So let's check out some more here, the, the Russia Pavilion, with a, the showing Elvis Presley. I think there must be fans. Uh, and here, one minute version, four minute version, you can read more. And you can get through here, check out the horse, the neurons, giant neurons, and the mechanics of wonder mechanics of the cultural mind, creative mind, translator, interpreter.
you can look at it through the brain uh, let's go around this way where you see that the show is going to start in 56 seconds and these things are going to start moving the brain is going to expand and uh, we're going to start understanding the meaning of life eventually maybe that's what it means and are we gonna win all the chess championships or some 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 years I think Kasparov is gonna come here to the expo that's what uh, the Kuwait pavilion told me and whoa that's some uh, that's some intricate light uh, pixels in here all right let's walk through here uh, check stuff about the COVID and uh, they have their uh, Rostec stuff and they have space a lot of space very reliable so use rockets launching in space the show starts in 51 seconds let's get ready for the show Kane Vision by Rostec State Corporation. Right, uh, the show is about to start. But oh, that's another show. Okay. Okay. So maybe the show is not starting right now. And you see the interactive floor. Every way I walk, stuff happens. All right. All these neurons. Okay, but we saw the brain uh, a little bit in action just before. It was the opening and closing. We might be going back down to the bottom floor. Like there was uh, something going on with uh, Moscow in here. That's when I understood. Right. There's a lot of information. Welcome to Moscow. Moscow is a candidate for Expo 2030. Also you, here you can see you can fly over the city and see amazing panoramic views. You can experience the best experience of, from the, there. Uh, so what are we seeing here on the, all these statistics so on the wall? About, uh, about the Moscow, also you can see uh, different uh, famous uh, architectural The second place in the world for UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Yes, because Russia has a very rich culture, so there is a lot of expensive. Because it was used to be a royal country, so there was royal family, so they used to have a lot of architecture, and it's all nicely done. So UNESCO they placed it as a heritage, and it has the second place on the top. And on the other side, is it different statistics? Uh, yes, it's more about the city, it's more about the current. So, uh, 
the screen comes all the way under. Yes, the screen comes all the way under and it goes yeah. all the way here and it was uh, taken with a special camera. All right. Oopsie. Uh, so what are the kind of uh, information on this wall here? So here you can see how Moscow is not only rich in their history, but it's also very rich in new designs and they're building a lot of style scrapers. And also you can see this is the radio tower and this is one of the biggest universities that is also one of the top universities in the world right now. And what's the behind you? And here is the project just it's around the university, the same buildings that are displayed over here. Uh, uh, a lot of people involved in uh, physical culture, sports industry. Russia is very famous for their sports and a lot of Olympic games are dominated by Russian. Yeah, uh, here you can take a picture. Yes. It's uh, for the candidate, but still they haven't chosen it yet. It's like two or three years later they will choose, right? Yes, exactly. All right. Thanks. And here there's a little bit more about uh, a lot of stuff is happening in Moscow with the so infrastructure. What's so special about Moscow right now is that you can just use your biometric, just your face to enter any kind of transport. So you don't need to scan any cards or anything. Just your face is more than enough and it's linked to your account, so it's going to just deduct the payment automatically. And uh, maybe it's affordable to take the, the metro and yes, stuff Yes, of in course, Moscow? It's, uh, because there is a lot of traffic, so sometimes you can be stuck in the car for like four hours, five hours just to get home. So it's very convenient to use a metro and public transport and you can just get in, around the city very easy. All right.